Stan Gibalisco here. I'd like to talk just a bit about uh, uh, two amplifier circuits that do the same thing but use different active devices. You'll find this material in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition, chapter 24. Uh, and I will provide a link to the Amazon page for that book in the description of this video. But I'd like to just jump straight to the chase. This is a generic weak signal amplifier. The input signal comes in through here. C2 keeps the bias for the bipolar transistor from getting back, the DC bias from getting back and disturbing whatever circuit has come before. R2 and R3 bias this NPN bipolar transistor for class A operation. C1 and R1 also help to bias the transistor for class A. C1 ensures that the emitter remains at signal ground. R1, on the other hand, makes sure that the emitter is elevated sufficiently above DC ground to help with R2 and R3 to provide class A bias for this transistor, which is best for weak signal applications. R4 is uh, the resistor that just serves as the uh, mitigator between the collector and the positive 12 volt supply so that signal doesn't get shorted through this 12 volt supply in addition to providing the positive voltage. Then we have another blocking capacitor, C3, which goes to the output and of course C3 keeps this bias from disrupting whatever circuit will follow. And this is an NPN bipolar transistor. Now the equivalent uh, field effect transistor, JFET or junction field effect transistor, is an N-channel junction field effect transistor. Now notice this is basically the same circuit as this. There's scarcely any difference whatsoever except for one thing. This resistor right here which goes from the control or input electrode to the positive power supply voltage is not there. And the reason it's not there is because with this junction field effect transistor you don't need it to provide class A bias. All you need is to elevate the uh, elevate the um, gate sufficiently above ground to get it to class A bias. You do not need this resistor to force it higher above ground towards the positive. So that that's really basically the the only difference between these two circuits except if you choose a very good n-channel junction field effect transistor such as a gallium arsenide device you can get a better signal to noise ratio than you can do with the bipolar device because the field effect transistor inherently generates less internal noise. So that is the summary of the equivalent weak signal amplifiers for NPN, jun uh, NPN bipolar and N-channel junction field effect transistors. If this were PNP and this were a P-channel device, the arrows would simply point the other way and instead of a positive power supply, you'd have a negative supply. Otherwise, you'd pretty much get the very same thing. What you're hearing in the background, if you can hear that stuff, is ham radio signals. And I am, in fact, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. If you have a ham license, you know what 73 means. If you don't, get one and find out, say I. Stan Gibalisco signing off, making my pitch for my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. A link to the Amazon page is provided 
in the description of this video. Have a good day and so long for now.